Dear co-chairs, our organizations fully share both your conferences positive evaluation of the Committee on Enforced Disappearances and the assessment of your conference that no other body could better implement this convention, which entered into force on 23 December 2010. The crime of enforced disappearances is an extremely complex phenomenon with a large variety of facets. This specific crime is still widespread. It affects all the regions. The decision of the state parties to the International Convention to continue entrusting the Committee on Enforced Disappearances with the monitoring of the Convention confirms the will of the state parties to ensure seriousness, expertise and efficiency in the implementation of the Convention. These will no doubt further encourage so many victims in their difficult search for truth and justice. Since its creation in November 2011, the Committee on Enforced Disappearances made the difference. During its first 11 sessions, the Committee elaborated and adopted its rules of procedures and working methods. It considered 18 states' reports and adopted corresponding lists of issues and concluding observations. The lists of issues for three other states to be considered next March were also approved, as well as three reports on follow-up to concluding observation concerning 11 countries. Another landmark achievement of the committee concerns the requests for urgent action. At the end of October 2016, the committee had registered 348 urgent actions out of the 435 requests received. Today, our eight international non-governmental organizations respectfully call on all the states signed the International Convention but did not ratify it yet to undertake the necessary steps to ratify the Convention. All the member and the observed states of the United Nations to ratify the International Convention. All the state parties to recognize the competence of the Committee on Individual Cases. All the states having received from the Committee a request for visit to reply, uh, reply swiftly and positively and the Secretary General and the High Commissioner for Human Rights to allocate more human and financial resources to the work of the Committee. We are looking for strengthening our cooperation with this unique group of experts, which has the capacity to address all the facets of the crime of enforced disappearances. I thank you.